every picnic table should have one of these. I know, it's pretty cool. Ah. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We're going to take you around the Olympic Peninsula Geo Tour. That's so not fair. We're in Squim, Washington, and we're about to start the Olympic Discovery Geo Tour. It's raining um, just a little bit. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get any worse than this. We can. This is not too bad, but it's definitely getting a little wet out. We're at our favorite coffee shop in Squim, and uh, let's go see what they got here, and we'll go uh, start the geo tour. So this is where we find out what type of caches these are, because it's uh, this is our first one of the geo tour. So we'll find out what the hides look like, what the cache containers look like, and go from there. Oh, well, here we go. our first stamp on the on the passport. Helen's gonna rehide the cash. There we go. So there was also a code word and the lid of the geocache. So we're gonna just make notes of those so we don't give them away as we're filming the passport while we go. So that one was a bit different. It was a, uh, wasn't actually a cache. It said it had been muggled. And the GeoTour folks had put a, a note on there with the keyword saying, you don't need to stamp, the cache has been muggled. Just use the keyword and uh, put it on your sheet. Fort Warden is a pretty cool place. Um, we're in Port Townsend, one of the caches is here. This is the place that uh, Officer and a Gentleman was filmed at. The weather's kind of turned a little bit on us, getting all wet, my lens is getting all wet. There's a podcast that we like to listen to called Caching in the Northwest. We actually sponsor it and um, anyway, I think they should rename it. It should be Caching in the Northwest because that actually is a better representation of uh, what it's like here sometimes. Yeah. So Port Townsend is a National Historic District. It's one of our favorite places in the Pacific Northwest. It's got all kinds of funky stores and great restaurants. And it's just a pleasure to walk around. We don't get here often enough, that's for sure. I think it's perfectly fitting for a land shark. So one of the cool things about, uh, about geotours is that they bring you to places you never knew existed. So we're at Fort Flagler on Marrowstone Island, which is uh, a little bit out of the way, but it's a really neat place. It's an old military fort, and we're gonna find the cache here. Well, here's a challenge with doing uh, stamps and caches. Is that somebody somebody thought it was a swag trade item and traded the stamp for a for one of, for one of these, and it was a self inking stamp for the passport, but now it's just a dried up stamp that you can't use. What did one raindrop say to the other? I don't know, what did he say? <laughs> Two's company, three's a cloud. Oh, <laughs> that's bad. So one of the things about geotours is, in order to do a geotour, you have to do the geotour, the whole thing. So if there's one that's hard to get to, or a road is closed, um, you haven't completed it unless you've actually still found it. So uh, we're going to Seal Rock right now, and uh, the road is closed. So we have a 500 meter walk to uh, find the cache.
The Olympic Peninsula GeoTour, it's been out for a few years. It's our closest to home. And um, when we're completed, we'll get a souvenir for logging all the caches. And if there's any coins left, we'll actually uh, also receive a coin for filling out the passport with all the stamps. We stamped the whole passport. Here it is. And we're about to fill in all of the code words, which we've carefully hidden from you. And, um, and then we're going to go in and talk to the tourism folks. Fun on the tour? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. very wet though. Oh yeah. Mm, not necessarily the greatest weekend to be out and no, about doing no. that. No. We've really enjoyed traveling around the Olympic Peninsula. Hope you've enjoyed uh, coming along for the ride as we've gone and done the uh, geo tour here. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your geocaching friends. Be sure to comment below and tell us if you've had the opportunity to find any uh, geo tour geocaches and if you have, what you thought of them. And if you haven't, tell us what tour you might like to do. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below also.